what happens when you try to grow a plant that prefers a milder microclimate and it's growing in a colder winter microclimate. I'm at Rainbow Park Pool here in Salt Spring Isles, the 30th of January. And everything in this garden is perfectly fine. Southern Magnolia, we got Pieris, we got Trachycarpus palms, and uh, heathers and skimmias. And then you come to the choice see here, look at that. Temperature had to fall below 20 degrees Fahrenheit in order for it to da get damaged like that. Probably into the teens, I'm guessing probably around maybe 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Palm trees are fine. This part of the choice is good because it's closer to the building. But uh, there's daffodils coming up. They're already blooming in the mildest microclimates. Palm trees are fine. Heathers are fine and blooming. But this will be fine. It will recover. But I'm going to have to cut it back in the spring. But it uh, got severely damaged by the uh, cold earlier on in the month. You can see the Pieris are fine. Southern Magnolia. More palms here. Skimmias. These palms I grew from seed, they're all doing good, there's lichness in there. So uh, you can see the palm trees are much hardier, more cold hardy than the um, than this broadleaf evergreen over here. So that's what happens when you try to grow a, you know, a tender, a more tender plant in a cold area. And uh, this area is about 12 kilometers south of where we live, and I have that in our garden. It's been there for just about 25 years, and I've never ever seen winter damage on our Mexican orange. That's Choicea ternata, so... It had to get pretty darn cold here to destroy that plant. Underneath is okay. It's, it is still damaged, but it'll have to be, like I say, I'm going to have to cut it back severely. And damage always seems to show up af long after the freeze has passed, right? So there we go. They browned out. So Damaged Mexican orange on Salt Spring Island, British Columbia, Canada. I always look at your growing zone and look at the hardiness of a plant before you put it in your garden or, or pick one out for your garden because if you're in a cold microclimate and you get a, uh, a tender, uh, tender, tender plant it could get damaged or killed in a cold blast.